Okay, so our first question today is, what is your current role or position? Sure. Um, uh, my current role right now is that I am the executive producer of the Apollo Theater in New York City. Um, I'm also a uh, theater and television and film uh, director and producer. Amazing. So what is the Apollo Theater and what is its historical significance? Absolutely. So the Apollo Theater is a theater that has been around for now 90 years, um, based here in Harlem in New York, in Harlem, New York. And, you know, the historical significance is that it has really been a home um, for Black artists and entertainment for the last 90 years um, and culture for the last 90 years. Um, you know, we were founded in 1934. And um, when I think of artists like Ella Fitzgerald, um, Billie Holiday, um, they all found their home here. Um, it existed at a time when theaters were segregated and this was the only place under which Black artists could perform and hone their voice and build and find community in New York um, and in Harlem specifically. Um, and, and, and then post integration, it still became that home and that poster child um, for um, black culture, but quite frankly, American culture. We like to say as an institution, we are the soul of American culture. Um, so it's really been an honor um, for me to serve as the executive producer um, and leading the creative and artistic charge um, of, this, uh, of this institution over the last seven years. Wow, that is incredible. <laughs> so you've obviously had an amazing career. So we were just a little curious, how did OPRF get you started? How did yeah. this school contribute to where you are now? You know, what's so amazing about Oak Park is that there was so much that I could get into at OPRF, right? Um, from whether it was the volleyball team, the track team, <laughs> student council. Yes, yes, student council. Yay, right? Like um, the speech team and club, drama club, obviously. Um, I was a member of BOSS at Oak Park. Um, uh, I don't know if BOSS is still around. I don't, I don't think. Boss was a, a black organization for student support. Gotcha. Um, and uh, um, so it was a collection of African-American students, um, you know, forming together. Um, and so, you know, the reason why that, that really was important, it really allowed me to, to understand myself even further. Um, when I think about like my time on the track team, that was an opportunity for me exercising um, not only perseverance, uh, determination, because that's sort of a singular minded for sport, um, but also working on a team leadership skills, um, further learning leadership skills and advocacy with my time on student council. Um, that was a really tremendous opportunity that, you know, I, I, I never thought, you, you know, you, you sometimes you think of like, what am I doing in high school and how does it, how, how does it serve me in future life? Well, well, this is it, right? It was, it was leadership skills and advocacy. Mm -hmm. My time at BOSS, um, you know, we led a student protest um, around the Rodney King uh, um, the Rodney King uprising during that time, um, along with student council. So when we talk about social justice and community activism, um, that was really honed in that space. Um, and then of course the drama club and plays and speech team um, really, again, it was, this was the, the first taste for me of, of, of a clearly what I would spend the next 30 years of my life committed to, um, which is the performing arts. Um, and so, you know, without Oak Park um, and all of that, uh, that opportunity to explore all those sides of myself, um, I, don't, I don't know where, I don't know, I don't know where I would be. <laughs> That's really awesome to hear that this school is like, it's such a big part of your journey and yeah yeah I, and another thing is that so i also um you know side note there's a a, a film i made um for mm. hbo called between the world and me which was the adaptation of ta coates's book um that i adapted for the stage and adapted for film um but that was produced by uh my production company maceo lynn that i have in partnership with one of my very best friends kenyatta matthews who I met in the eighth grade and we went through Oak Park and did everything together at OPRF. So when I think about like the cornerstone, and when we talk about the store, the history of our production company and the work that we're doing, whether it's with HBO, Netflix or Amazon, we always reference high school. 
that we were creative collaborators in high school. We wrote plays together at Oak Park. We produced them together at Oak Park. So we really cut our teeth with something that we would be doing 30 years later um, mm -hmm. and forged that creative partnership. Um, um, little did we know, you know, one night after the morph. Do they still do morphs? No, but I know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Prom spell backwards. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We tried to introduce that again. That was like oh, okay. an option we were thinking about. Okay. Okay. But it okay, sounded okay. really fun. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun. But again, you know, again, again, it, it just another reiteration about just how important Oak Park was and, 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 and still is in my story and in and my journey. Thank you so much. That is awesome. So since uh, you finished your time as a Husky, you've gone on to do some, some pretty awesome stuff. You've worked with all these stars. You've won like a mile long list of awards. Um, just, what are a few of the things that you're most proud of? Yeah. I mean, I think, um, one of the things I think I'm, I'm, I am most proud of, um, I'm most proud of my work at the Apollo. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think because it's a real opportunity to build and create community. Um, you know, a lot of times when we think of performing arts centers, it's not just about entertainment, it is about creating community. Um, I'm most proud of, and I think I talked about that work, um, um, the film um, uh, Between the World and Me. And partly because I think it was a real convergence of not only um, an opportunity to respond to what was happening in that in the world at that time, we made that film in 2020 um, as a response to um, the protests that were happening in the world around George Floyd. As Tanahasi wrote this book um, for his son. Um, 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 around what does it mean to grow up and raise a son in the age of Trayvon Martin? Um, so we felt that it was an, um, you know, I felt that it was, a, it was an opportunity to share with the world. Um, maybe you might not pick up the book. Maybe you, it's not about going to the protest, but it is about where is that? How how do we how do we use art to transform? How do we use art to uplift humanity? Um, and that was a project that did just that. Um, and it was just a convergence again of my ideals, but also my artistic and creative practice, um, and a, an opportunity to do something and say something um, um, significant at a time when the world needed it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, I know we do a lot of reading of Tanahasi Coates in school as well, so that was a familiar name when you first <laughs> mentioned that. So. Um, so to end it off, we're just going to ask you, what's the best piece of advice you can give us and the rest mm -hmm. of you watching? You know, one of the best pieces of advice I can give you guys um, and is a, an advice around purpose. A lot of times when we we're in high school, I remember being a junior and senior and people were like, where are you going to go to college? What are you going to major in? What do you want to be? Um, and I got so hung up in that. And as many of we always do, right? And then in college, it's what job are you going to get? Um, that's less important. What's important is what's your purpose? Find and sit in your purpose, because that can translate in a lot of different schools, subjects, or jobs. But that's what stays consistent. Um, and I think that's what's most important, and, and that becomes your guiding north star live and walk in your purpose because it's bigger than a job it's bigger than a school it's bigger than a major and it always will be and and i can look back now and say you know 30 plus years later um how important um walking in purpose um has been for me all right thank you so much you. we appreciate the whole entire talk that we had with you today and um we're really looking forward to sharing this with the other students is there I'm anything so, else you wanted to say i'm just so sorry i couldn't be there in person it's okay um, um i am in new york city um in my home um and but i'm really sorry i couldn't be there oak park is just an important part of like i said my journey and um and i talk about oak park often and i'm so proud when i hear about things that are happening at OPRF, um, things that the students are doing and that they're thinking about. Um, and I can't wait to be a, 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 at some point, um, you know, there with you guys in person and, and meeting all of you all in person, <laughs> flesh and blood, right? <laughs> well, yeah, I'll say there's always something going on here. Absolutely. And there's always clubs and 
different activities going on, but I, your words will carry on to the students. So thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You guys. We hope to see you around here soon. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you.